All right, lads, are you going to side with the GG bet odds here? Or are you going to go a little bit? Getting a lot of denies, a fair few CS, and now going aggressively onto King R. The tri lane shows itself. GNZ will come in, swinging hard from the trees, and Mitch spills that first blood. Looking for the Marana rotation. Does allow Bazoos to be a little bit safer. They're going in on him. He's very close to death. Oh, the fairy fire. They're gonna dive under the tier one. The multi shot will allow them to finish him off. She's more of a position of three than the Mars is right now. One of the better heroes to defend the tower, but up against Not the against Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Exactly, he can go straight over the trees and tip the scales a little bit. Zeus, pretty susceptible to getting jumped on. They've got Dark Ascension ready, which they can do. And a haste rune there. Night Stalker wants it, sprints forward. King R has already died, but the arrow and the connection onto Zeus is the kill that they desired. Chasing for more. Enchantress doesn't see them coming. They're invis hiding. Arrow slides straight past LeBron. The Enchantress still gonna get speared up the trees. Living armor there, but I think that's lights out for LeBron. And now, with another 10 seconds of night time, maybe they play forward aggressively into these bounty runes. Dark is going to get popped there as they feel they know where the drow is. And Chandra sprinting down south with the Rod of Athos there, catching Krill out, but the multi-shot takes out the Marana as Huckstalk has been left isolated. The rest of the team didn't follow them up to the high ground, and Mars stopped to win the PA. They got the Zeus, but losing out Nightstalker and Marana there. Marana ulti, still two minutes left on that, Aegis. That's your hammer. Dumber. Absolutely. Drow Ranger from the low ground. Pummeling into it. They arrow up the Zeus, though. Back in towards me. And the catch and pick is there. Phantom Assassin blows them up. And now the Mars ulti. Arena of Blood. Land and Spear. In on the Devil Lord. But that's a tanky target. They're focusing down Mitch. Interesting. That's not the one I would opt for. Or maybe a change of tanks as the Drow Ranger stands on the ground. They can't grip coming. But the Star's still flying. They tried to force that from the way. The Yule's up. And out they go. Drow and Underlord, the two heroes that Tempo needed to keep alive. Green Protector and Drow Ranger could be a bit tricky, so they want to get a pick up before they go. Look at the, the bait being set up here. It felt like they were trying to play around the DNZ tree, and but then Chan inside the arena. Cleared up quite simply. And they also have two big items coming on. So, Phantom Assassin, full of Bissel Blade, Night nice Stalker oh, with an Alloy. Oh my god, the PA's found the Drought. Triple App, can you mount it? Can you Hurricane Flake? You can try and run away, but the PA is still coming in hot. Nimbus keeps her at bay. Drill out looking to escape for the second jump in. Nyx with a beyond godlike streak and some heavy crits. God queued up though. Smoke with Moonlight Shadow. Hellraisers, off we go. I dare the Raiders want to make the jump to anyone other than Underlord. But apparently Funny has already whiffed on everything. Pops his mana to a hold and he gets the hell out of there. But the PA wants in the bait and the switch. They jump on LeBron and clear her up. And Chandra's gonna lose the Aegis. Uh, PA very close to losing the Aegis, but does jump away. Cost intolerant, yeah. How often do you get that? How often does someone miss a lacrosse as lactose? A lot. Well, let's come back to the second. They've got the Abyssal Blade and Drow Ranger die back. GG's call. Tempo tap out. And Hellraiser's make a nice comeback after losing that lane of Barracks top at 23 minutes. It really was their game from there on out. Damage inside the Chronosphere if it's not a godly place, Chronos. Mitch might be able to find something to play with, especially up against the squishy King R Oracle. No sun strike is available. One King oh, Guard, will it connect? It's going, it's going. They see it, not enough. Like pure damage to be straight through. I won't lie. But now expires. DK with a DD root and a catapult. LeBron getting picked off bottom as the dive comes in. The sun strike misses. Snowball out. Well, allow Lil and Funny to escape after getting the kill. Jungle. I don't think they can get a kill on this faceless void. Oh, it's still going for it. Oh. Giving it a good old college try. Snowball forward. Purifying Flames being spammed out here now. Two stacks up on the void, but the shards again. Trapping Krill out with a sun strike there. Sniping Lil. Invoker getting involved from global range once more. Eases levels. Upon scaling. Oh, not a big scale. Phantom Man, sorry, Gary. I'm going for like two points in Gale. Not maxing out the wards. Because you have no tower damage. 
in Dragonite, it's not there. But uh, we can see Dragonite, a lot of overtime damage, good keeping him alive. I don't really have a hero of damage, I'm quite down damage. Mitch is 12 HP with one charge, stampede in. Krillat with the Chrono there, lands on Lil as the meter sun strike. Not gonna do a great amount, Mitch has already fallen, and now the stuns on the Invoker, they've been baited into this battle. Nyx is gonna be the one to take the kill streak away, and the DK still surviving with a terrible oh, death, EFD shoving back both Tusk and Venno. And Phonic gets one more spell out, but a 2 2 trade under that tower where you kill the two highest net worth heroes. Chasing Enchantress, she's level 10, reasonably tanky, honestly, and the move in onto the Tusk comes. They got the roots and the stuns. Lil, no one's gonna Lil you alone. Chasing for Mitch, as it looks like they're also gonna try and go in onto this Spectre who's haunting around, jumping back and forth. The Nyx is picked off by that double edge, and a Sun Strike just missing. Lil is escaping, but no blink on Centaur means he will be able to wander off. All right, the Dire Triangle. Very low on mana has Chronosphere up and that ages. Once again, they found on Tusk. Yeah, he's very dead. Blue sure mechanic is. against Tusk. Very effective. Alright, Yules into Tornado, into Kill on Funic, who was hiding in the trees. Uh, you know, a Spectre if he sees her. For now, we're not gonna go for Funic or King R. And the lane of Barracks is just being shredded here. There's nothing that Hellraisers can or want to do. They're getting jumped on, straight onto the Funic Venno. Dead for 45 seconds. And Hellraisers, they've got King R in the fountain. Lil is cutting waves down bottom lane, trying to cut their losses, mitigate as much of this pushing strength that Tempo is shoving towards them. But 20, 23 minutes in, they've taken down two lanes of Barracks. Hellraisers might just call this game if they want to take any fights. These are two set of Raxes. There it is. I mean, I know Hellraisers. I've seen them play, and uh, I know when they're going to GG out. Oh, Cataclysm, Sarni's dead up top. Spectre has haunted in towards the mid lane. The way they started this show, I mean, the first couple of days were so good, you know. Theme that top lane where Nick's Monkey King, he's toying with the idea of going for creeps. Arrow connect, beautiful from DNZ. And we go on to the monkey. Nyx is going to try and mischief his way out the first blood. 15 and 5. Uh, LeBron's doing whatever he can. You mentioned the tree cutting, but still, decent CS and decent levels on TP. Level 4, 44 percent. Catch us if you can. Large camp. Mirana. The DD rune secures King R and might even loop in towards mid. Sani's being slowed down and there's another spirit siphon here. Maybe a bottle charge for Nuke can allow them to keep this chase going. Sani's scorched earth is about to end and DNZ just leaps on forward. They're diving past tier one. Fairy fire, not enough. Farming back in the jungle. I like what Xani is doing, not putting a skill in Doom. Guys, I have Doom. Yeah, that's your hero's name. You need to get your ulti up. Magnus has an RP. Two man bound the strike and the final spring in. RP's ready, catches DP. And with the ghosts gone, that noob just falling so quickly as Hellraisers even up the kill score. And now the 2k lead for them in net worth coming into Doom the Centaur. They should be able to track back onto Mitch and take him down, dispatching with the four legged man pretty quickly. Aeroblade can connect so they know something is up. They absolutely do. And here comes Funic. Close to Blink Dagger, Funnick's 100 wave. all the way, but Noob is so low on HP. Terrorize, Fake Pump by Lil, and Trian trapped in the middle of a bunch of heroes here. Gets off a good overgrowth, the focus of the Lil, so the Dark below down with no buyback. Trade back onto LeBron, maybe gonna be there. One more hit, but he's under Invis. Back away he goes with a shield, and he's running by the slide in. Drifting forward, he is picked up by DNZ as Roshan falls, and Noob is about to drop as well. Six feet under, the Death Prophet collapsed upon by four Hellraiser. As heroes, what and even expect? though Tempo got that first pick of reverse clarity and Wukong's command, smoke from Hellraisers, noob yet again. DP is just frontlining here as Monkey King jumps straight in on top of him. And the strike they get behind the two. A counter initiation from the central there, but the terrorize is good, sending Tempo back at a damage range job. It is substantial. Three heroes in quick succession as DP, Centaur, and Trian all hit that ground with a thud. This is the what Hellraisers that I know that I used to watch two, three months ago. Where... As Rochan 
scouted it out and the sounds of blast flying through from the pit. And it clips onto the DP, but they are in there. Smoke now from the rest of HR. Ramble Maze, Arrow, everything just being chucked into this area. And Roshan down to about half HP. Found the strike and a jump with the Centaur. Mitchell looking for a sneak position there to make the initiation. Stomps up, but he's dead. Might have to fly back into Roshan drops low. The LP there is beautiful from Phonic. HR is straight on to that into the Monkey Cross Command. It's a triple for Monkey. Hell raises have done it. Three heroes, dead one has had to buy back in the Centaur. And he's got no one left to fight with because LeBron is gone. There's a silver lining, Lacoste. Dying might not be so silver, it's a bit more bronze. Godlike Monkey King on his uh, on his way to stardom. On the northern part of the map, one near the metal, but uh, that's gonna get rewarded pretty soon. Smith and LeBron trying to sneak an outpost under the nose of the Doom. And Monkey King, bound to strike beyond Godlike, 13, 2, and 6. If he just you know, dies once, has one assist, he's got one of the numbers. Oh, they found the, they found the TB? Oh dear. You're so dead, You're bad. Link's gear up, Mitch tries to stampede for the chain stuns, the damage they've just shot, not quite enough. They do fire, kill him off. Oh, it's Ksani with the Scorched Earth. Gets the killing block. And Skewer, now it's ready up once again. And Glover Cape looking for jump. There it is. RP catches two. The TV is a big ticket item though. And the damage is unstoppable. TP, TB both dead. And this has got to be game over. There is no way back into this. Good luck for all this and DNZ. L raises. Keep themselves in the tournament. And Tempo, unfortunately, are out. Yeah, I gotta say, watching Tempo play, they have been very one-dimensional. I feel like they are pick the same heroes.